Oh, nice. Now I remember. My name? No, 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 no. Just talk loud. Oh, I'll talk loud. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Have a seat. How's it going? Case. Good. How are you? Great. Off season tune, you all right? Tell me about some of the newcomers. I'd like to hear about the newcomers. Who has separated in the off season? Um, well, I'll tell you, we've got a really solid freshman class. We've got basically one in every position, one through five. Um, junior college player of the year in Charles Jones, combo guard, and then a, a really solid uh, grad transfer from Idaho State. So those s seven guys probably in the fray of some playing time. Um, I've been really impressed with, with uh, Timmy Allen out of Phoenix. Um, and unlike maybe a lot of freshmen, I think from a coaching perspective, most times kids aren't ready to play because they don't get what it demand the, the demands on the defensive end, and Timmy's light years ahead of that. So uh, I could see him being in the mix for sure. Uh, Riley Batten uh, out of California, power forward, is making nice progress, and, and then uh, Booth Gock from Minnesota. Um, so I, you know, I think we're going to see a lot of these new faces playing. Our, the freshmen are, are capable to play, and uh, we're excited about it. A lot of teaching. Yeah, sure. You guys are always underrated, undervalued. We talk about it every single time that we're here. This year is probably because you, you have so many newcomers. But mm. why do you think we always undervalue the youths? Well, Where did you vote us? Where did you think we'd finish? <laughs> right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> That's a cop out, maybe, but right in the middle. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think this this league's got a lot of great teams. When you start going down the the list, and a lot of great coaches. So, um, you know, the the preseason polls have always been something that are interesting. I believe we finished the two years when we first started. We were picked twelfth both years, and I think we probably set our all time record for a distant twelfth. Like is. <laughs> 12th as 12th can be, and we managed to finish 10th one of those years and 11th. So, um, yeah, I, I don't mind. I'm comfortable kind of being the arrow rather than the target. You know, a couple of the years that we were picked second, um, that was kind of new territory for us. So, you know, it, it's that time of year where, you, you know, I, the media, whoever, the parties that be need to come up with their list to give some somebody to talk about. You know, something to talk about, and we lost a lot. We lo we lost uh, four seniors that that played a lot and accomplished a lot. So, you know, from a roster point of view, um, you know, I'd say we're somewhere in the middle, and and eighth is eighth is not in the bottom four. So, um, we are somewhere in the middle. But you know, past past results are no indication of of future performance, and so. Uh, you know, we, we don't pay too much attention about it. I think our guys are inspired. They're never, we're going to stay humble and hungry and um, look forward to getting it started. Larry, there was testimony in the federal investigation about an associate of Kyle Kuzma being paid by a financial advisor. What have you been able to learn from that uh, about what may have happened and uh, what's the school doing uh, to investigate? Yeah, I'm not going to talk at all about Kyle Kuzma. That's a silly question. I, I wish I could help you, but. Uh, today's not the day to talk about that, and um, I can't comment much about anything that I don't know. And I'm 100% clueless about anything that's going on, and um, leave it at that. All due respect, I don't think it's a silly question. Half of the schools in the league have been implicated. In With all due respect, you don't think it's a silly question? No, I don't. Okay. Half the schools in the league have been implicated in one form or fashion in this investigation. Is there a problem within the league or any concern about the league? From a I'm not going to comment. I, I already kind of know where I stand. I'm focused on our team. We're not uh, a part of any federal investigation, okay. uh, it, and I haven't been informed of it. So um, I think there's different investigations and people in different positions. This is not uh, – I don't believe Kyle Kuzma's is in the same category as some of what's going on in the federal investigation. Um, so we'll leave it at that.
you have a, you keep an eye on what's going on in New York at all, just out of curiosity, if nothing else, to see? I'm sorry, in New, in New York? Eye on the trial, what's going on, at least the allegations that come out to see what's going on in the whole Sure, I'm curious. You know, I'm curious about what's happening, so, um, like everybody else, but we're, we're right in the thick of trying to get our team better, and I'll, I'll, I'm, my focus all the time is focusing on what it is we can control. Um, you know, and when you do get some, some free time at the end of a day, it's worth taking a peek at. But beyond that, I'm not really following it. Well, does any of it surprise you? I mean, you were talking, I think, a year ago about, you know, sometimes stuff comes up or people indicate maybe they're looking for something extra. Is this kind of consistent, what's coming out of the trial, with maybe what you've heard or seen on the, over the years? Yeah, it yeah, I mean, I don't think it's any big secret. It's not. It's not uh, blowing anybody away. It's um, it's public for the first time. I think there's a lot of um, understanding of things that have been happening for a long time. So, but you have an improved schedule this year, much tougher than the other years. Um, is that going to be? Just tell me why you did that first of all, and then was it going to be sort of a an issue maybe early on with such a young team that it might be kind of a tough. Yeah, no, I think schedule-wise, each year as a coach, you try to predict where you are, um, what your team's ready for, and I feel like our program's established at this point, you know, maybe young, uh, but established and ready for it, and I think, I've said it before, this is kind of what we all signed up for, you know, when I sit back and reflect on, um, this is year eight, our players want to play elite competition, I think fans want to watch elite competition. Um, it's always a fine line, you know, the same thing that will make you laugh will make you cry if you can't win some of those games. But I do know you can't get marquee uh, wins if you don't play them. So um, we do have a, a very difficult schedule for the next, not just this year, but upcoming years and kind of made the, uh, the plan to bump it up. I think that's, it, you know, when you're watching, that's what it's all about right now. You know, the RPI's out the window, and you need some quality wins. And um, so we're going to do what we can to try to garner some of those wins. Partly for NCAA purposes, too, then. I mean, that's... Well, I mean, there's a few years when you don't schedule very hard that I didn't think we were an NCAA team. Right. So I'm not scheduling, you know, seven years ago, eight years ago to make the NCAA. I'm scheduling to try to survive. And that's kind of been the process for us is the initial years. It's survival, and then it's about competition, and then it's about winning. And uh, so, you know, your mindset as a coach when you're doing your schedule, I think, changes accordingly. But that's the goal, is to make the NCAA tournament. And I think with the schedule that we have this year and in, in, in any upcoming year, um, if we're in a discussion on Selection Sunday through with the committee, the one thing I think is safe to say is that they're never going to say that they didn't play a hard enough schedule. And I, I, we can eliminate that when we get back to things we can control. Hopefully, we'll be in those discussions. And uh, if we don't make it, it's not going to be because we sure didn't, you know, go down swinging. We've got time for one more. Coach, Justin was so huge for you guys last year. Can you kind of detail where the point guard position stands going into the season for you guys? Uh, well, point guard uh, position, I think, is, uh, is a situation for Cedric, Cedric Bearfield. Um, you know, and I like some of our young players. I think uh, Booth is doing a nice job in the backcourt. Parker Van Dyke is a guy that not many people have talked about in our conference. He's a senior, uh, and he's had a great offseason and, and doing a nice job taking care of the ball. So we haven't always had, you know, Justin obviously was a point guard because he was 5'6 or whatever he was, but we've never really had a, an offense where you need one person specifically to to get you into everything you're trying to run. It's been more of a combo situation. So I think we'll be, you know, even when we had DeLon, DeLon Wright, it was yeah. Brandon and DeLon. So uh, more of a combination backcourt. We'll continue to do that. Thank you, Coach. Yep.